So it is officially February 1st, and uh, we're going to try and do maybe a monthly video log, I think, for Whitetail Experience and just what we're doing on maybe a monthly basis. Throw in some some, some decent little edits in, in this piece, but uh, just give you guys more of a, a real-life picture of what we're doing. So I'm going to put some boots to the ground today. I'm in a big wood section. I plan to look at clear cuts, uh, kind of get back in. I'm not necessarily thinking there's a lot of sheds on the ground. I think that's just starting to really pick up. But uh, I've got green light from the wife, so so I got to get out here and get boots on the ground. This particular set of rubs was actually on the uh, edge of a clear cut, and uh, definitely a really good uh, place. I'm going to be looking to hunt next year in a bedding area, lots of browse, deep in cover, and uh, pretty excited when I came across this section just torched. Mediocre nutrition to give us definitely energy. need some calories. Yeah, we need some calories to give us energy for this little scouting spree we're gonna go on. We got some cameras to pick up. We got some beds to find. Hopefully some sheds. Yeah, hopefully some. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I'm the world's worst shed hunter, so if anybody's finding sheds, it's gonna be these guys. It ain't gonna be me. <laughs> So it is now mid-February and uh, got to get some scouting in today. <clears throat> you know, I haven't had like the best scouting season so far. I know it's only early February, but just doing uh, my due diligence and, and I'm like, you know, if I look at the number of scouts where I've been in places where I'm like, oh yeah, this can hold a good one. It's just not there. So uh, I'm going to poke around today uh, areas that I've hunted in the past, kind of check on uh, the quality of buck sign seen some deer crossing the road so that kind of lets me know uh, that they must be using this area in the big woods a little more just due to the amount of browse here um, might even find a shed so I'm gonna poke around maybe a little extra attention on those eastern facing ridges hopefully but uh you know um, just painting the picture if you will so as you can see I uh, been walking for about two hours now and actually just found my first kind of tree stand marker pin and uh, I really think when I do these walks, I walk until I have reason to stop and mark something. I, I think 90% of public is junk. And uh, you know, it's all about finding that 10%. And what I got here is uh, behind me, nice little pinch, uh, like a hogback feature. And uh, I've got a clear cut here. Looks like dominant pines, a little bit of green briar, but there's also a nice flat top. Uh, I've got an old historic rub here and I noticed a few more and now I'm gonna when I walk out I'm gonna walk a different level um, And maybe see if there's more buck sign and I just didn't walk in on the right level, but um, something to note here and uh, You know, I'll just continue scouting I Think bucks like this area I've only walked by about 20 rubs. There's a good high one right over here This place is just what you got? Oh, it's close. Good job, buddy. Good try. Never a bad thing when your rubs come above your belly button. In the hell hole. Looks promising. Never been this here. This why before. you bring the dogs. I swear to God, I have. Oh, Wes. Oh, Wes, what did you find? Oh. You're the best dog! You're the best dog! Oh, where'd you find it? Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah! I'm tired. I'm um, walked somewhere around 60 miles at this point. And uh, glad I got a shed. It's a huge morale booster. And uh, I can't believe the dog found it. I've not really ever trained him. Um, but Paisley and Wesson both have found sheds that I would not have found. And uh, yeah, this, uh, this place looks pretty good in a few spots. Uh, I, I, I call this the hellhole because it is a, it is tough to get to. When you find sheds, what do you get? Cheeseburgers. 